Hello, in this video we're going to look at labor market welfare, introduce the idea of employer surplus and worker surplus. Let's start with an employer surplus. This is a measure of employer well-being from hiring workers. Employer surplus equals the value of the marginal product of labor minus the wage. The value of the marginal product of labor is the added revenue from hiring an additional worker. And in equation format, the value of the marginal product of labor equals the price of the good multiplied by the marginal product of labor. For example, a firm hires a worker who produces 50 units of output per day. The firm can sell each unit of output at $10 each in the marketplace. So the value of the marginal product of labor is the price times the 50 here, or 500. The labor demand curve is the value of the marginal product of labor. Worker surplus is a measure of worker well-being from participating in the labor market. We can think of it as the wage minus the marginal cost of working, where the marginal cost of working reflects the minimum bribe or wage needed for a person to find it worthwhile to work. This value is determined by the attractiveness of a person's outside alternatives. For example, wages in other occupations, non-labor income, child care, family responsibilities, how much the person likes leisure, and also by the characteristics of the job, how much autonomy you get on the job, responsibilities, the danger a worker faces on the job, opportunities for advancement or training, flexibility in terms of hours of work, and so on. The labor supply curve reflects the marginal cost of working. We can come up with a measure then of total surplus by adding employer surplus to worker surplus. And if you recall, employer surplus is the value of the marginal product of labor minus the wage, and worker surplus is the wage minus the marginal cost of working. The minus wage and plus wage cancel and you have this value here for the total surplus generated in the labor market. The value of the marginal product of labor minus the marginal cost of working. Let's look at a graphical example. Here's a labor market. You got the weekly wage here on the vertical axis and labor in millions of workers on the horizontal axis. Firms demand labor. We got this downward sloping labor demand curve and household supply labor, this upward labor supply curve. The equilibrium wage is 1200 where the quantity demanded of workers equals the quantity supplied. And that equilibrium level of employment then is 4 or 4 million workers. Now let's calculate employer surplus. Employer surplus is going to be the difference between the value of the marginal product of labor given by the height of the demand curve and the wage that firms are paying. Firms are paying each worker here $1,200 a week. So it's going to be this area between the demand curve and this wage up to this last worker hired. You'll notice this is a triangle and the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So that's where this one half is coming from, just the area of a triangle. And now the height of the triangle here is going to be 2,000 minus 1,200. And the base of the triangle here is going to be 4 minus 0. 4 minus 0 is just 4. And simplifying, we get an answer here of 1,600 million or $1.6 billion of employer surplus. As for worker surplus, it's going to be another triangle. It's going to be this triangle given by the wage and the height of the supply curve up to this last worker here. So we're going to get the area of this triangle here that I'm outlining with my mouse. So 1 half 1200 minus the vertical intercept down here of 200 for the supply curve. And then the base here once again is just 4 or 4 minus 0. Simplifying we get an answer here of two thousand million or two billion dollars of worker surplus. Okay, that's it.